hey guys welcome to image processing tutorial series so today is the introductory video and you guys might be wondering what's image processing why is this guy doing these things yeah image processing is a skill okay we don't we don't need to deal about that you guys have seen the uh, other tutorial video t-shirt design using image processing we use some some hideous codes and some sort of those things and uh, why do we do those things uh, we could have just used some gimp uh, photoshop or some other things to make different colors of the t-shirt why did we use codes for doing that yeah for one or two t-shirts it would be fine uh, using the image editing software would, would have been fine but what about when we use something like 100 or 200 images we need 200 different types of colors or different types of t-shirts then what we do we can do those things manually so image processing has got such huge power it can code we can do a lot of things we can manipulate the image so the basic question why do we need image we want to answer that question right now okay so first we take the chance example of a kfc so i think you guys might have eaten a small chicken piece from this kfc you, you once in your life you might have done that so what about kfc uh, just imagine you get a lot of these things chicken pieces so what about this chicken uh, we have a chicken right there and chicken has got this much pieces and we have to one one guy should be there he'll be cutting this chicken to different pieces and cooking up and giving to, and they give to the kfc outlets kfc outlets cook uh, cook that uh, pack those things and give for us and there's a small problem is there that it's not only us I means it's not only one chicken it's a lot of people around the world a lot of uh, uh, people around the globe need chicken uh, needs kfc so they need a lot of chicken so for a lot of chicken they can they just can't get one guy to work for them because one guy can't uh, cut a hundred or two hundred chickens <laughs> and just cook those things that's not not, not possible you, know, you guys know it it's it's a awesome work. it's a lot of work there so they have to pay those guys very heavily so that's not gonna work so what we don't do obvious uh, in this situation when a lot of chicken are there there isn't we have to search for new methods some solution like this machines machines has been our friends for a long time we had been using machines but uh, there's one more small problem is there as we have seen this much pieces for a chicken is there a machine have to dictate which pieces belongs to which one because have to get this boneless pieces from the chicken uh, the machine has to identify those pieces and cut it out and then cook them up but how can a machine uh, look to a chicken and say uh, look at this raw chicken how can a machine look at this raw chicken and say oh, this is its like this is its uh, head this is its uh, yeah body i don't know what this, yeah, those things wings like that how can a machine do that because uh, nobody is going to guide the machine so machine has to find a way yeah there comes image processing machine can take the photo of the chicken like here and it can do some image processing then the image processing the program that program will tell the machine that cut this part for the chicken's leg if you want to get rid of the chicken's head get this thing out of the area like that in the image processing software or the program it will guide the machine to do a lot of awesome things that way we can solve this problem so basically that was an example how of doing the image processing and uh, this was just an example capsi was just a small example the image processing has got a lot of applications like uh, we use that in for uh, for detecting terminal cancer or some cancer issues all the medical problems were you guys haven't seen some we have we taking x-rays those things for then we uh, with image processing we view the view the uh, x-ray we make decisions upon that a lot of searches can be done with that and for 
uh, lot of uh, like uh, image uh, taking images from the satellites we use this and after taking images we use image processing also you guys see have seen some photos from nasa nasa guys they post a lot of photos like that uh, but actually uh, when the images capture those uh, images of moon or those places don't look like what we see it's different colors and with image processing the color of that image has is be changed then after that uh, it is given for the public to view so image processing has got a lot of things because uh, those things happen uh, with the planets just because the variation of the environment in those planets and the way we get those lights it's not visible lights that's why so image processing has got a lot of applications in those fields and those fields uh, yeah, of course you can get a guy and give him a photoshop of those things and say oh the man just edit this photo and make make it look like a nice one you can't say it like that because it's out of question so in this area we use image processing image processing has got wide applications and got a lot of great capabilities so uh, the further weeks we'll be dealing uh, about image processing about uh, we'll be dealing how to do those things we'll be doing a bit of uh, small amount of programming and which it will turn to big amount of programming don't worry about it we'll go over each and every code we'll be doing a bit of uh, C++ programming yeah, for image processing first of all we'll be dealing with the black and white images and after that we'll be doing going for the color images and uh, before that all before that we want to uh, see what an image is and how it can manipulate those things, those things a lot of things are there we'll be going on through each and everything and guys you might be wondering who is this girl yeah this cutie there uh, this is a uh, this is her name is lena she is uh, she was a uh, cover girl of the playboy magazine years ago and uh, uh, usually the image processing guys they use this uh, her image this lena's image as a test image for their image processing so when they do some image processing they use take this image and try out their program on that and get the results so this, this isn't a test image you guys just google it around there you might get more details on of her so guys uh, i'm hoping we'll we might be having a very nice uh, tutorial series over here this is uh, this tutorial series consists of a lot of programming attributes you guys just uh, make sure you, you get onto the path before that and if you have any queries, just email me melvin or dsa at gmail.com. And that's, uh, oh, sorry, I, I forgot my email. Yeah, that's not fun. Jello dsa at gmail.com. I just forgot that's another email. Okay, fine. Leave it up. So that's it. So love and peace. Stay tuned. Bye.